Hello, this is Stan from gpt4work.com. I'm going to teach you how to use uh, content from your document as context to uh, generate more writing with ChatGPT in Google Docs. So here you can see I have added a line of context um, that says that the recipient is my physics teacher. Her name is Marie and she has helped me uh, get my engineering degree. So now I want to write her a thank you note. So I'll just type write a thank you note. And I will make sure this box here, use selection or document as context is selected. Um, and when I click uh, submit, basically what uh, GPT for Docs will do is take this context and collate it into the prompt here so that the chat GPT can answer uh, my request with the context from my document. And as you can see here, it has understood that the recipient was named Marie, uh, and it has written an email that includes um, the context I gave it. So that's really nice. If I had not done that, it would have basically just wrote, written uh, a very generic email. Uh, so this checkbox allows you to uh, drop your either the whole document or uh, a selection that you can highlight. What is a selection? A selection is, is a highlight. So for example, let's say that I want to expand more. So I'll, uh, first of all, I'll uh, clear the highlighting here so that it's all back. And now I want to expand on this paragraph here. So uh, what I will do is I will say, I will highlight this paragraph and then say expand on this uh, theme. Uh, because I really like physics and I click submit and so basically it will take this paragraph um, and expand on it um, and let's see what it produces So uh, it has produced uh, five paragraphs, which uh, is probably a little too much in this case. Uh, on top of that, it has, it seems, since I only gave it um, one, a single paragraph as uh, context, it could not know that it is part of an email, a thank you email. So it seems to have rambled a bit. Um, here, my passion for physics has been fueled by the incredible teachers and mentors that I have had throughout my life. Uh, yeah, this 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 wouldn't fit well. So, and then again, through their dedication to teaching, my physics teacher has shown me the power of education, whereas in fact, I am actually writing uh, to her. So this is not very good. So I'll delete it, and now I'll show you that you can actually highlight different sections um, to provide it with uh, proper context. So. I can highlight this, and then if I maintain my shift key uh, pressed, I can, oops, no, actually it's my command key, sorry. So command, yeah, and I'm on a Mac, so on a, a PC, it might be some other key, I don't know, maybe control or alt. Um, and now I can try again, and let's see if it makes the same mistake or if it stays on point. Okay, so it seems to be much better. In fact, um, it, it, it is really much better. So it, it goes to show how important um, selecting the right context for your prompt is, uh, is useful and impactful on the quality of the text generated by ChatGPT. Um, so it might, I mean, it might not be, uh, it, it might sound a little bit of a complicated procedure for uh, such a short, um, such a short task, 
but if your document is very long, uh, several pages long, and will not fit entirely in a prompt, uh, this technique will really, really help you uh, generate text based on the, on, on the right context. So you can uh, really select part of it, and the parts need not be uh, uh, contiguous. You can select multiple parts and then uh, include this in, in your context. So this, is, this should be really helpful. Um, I hope it is clear. Uh, please do not hesitate to ask questions. Um, and uh, that's it. So I'll end the video now. Thank you for listening and uh, see you next time.